Hey everyone, Sam here again and it's time to do the all important benchmarking video. Now I've already done my 1x benchmarking video if you've not seen that one already. I'll put a little, a little link here, um, or maybe the other side. I'll put a link on in this actual video right now. Anyway, it's time to do the HTC 1S benchmark and let's see how this bad boy performs. So let's turn it on. And as you can see, you get that awesome lock screen once again. So what we'll do is we'll jump straight into the benchmarking. We're going to do a quadrant first of all. So here we go. So what we're going to do is run the, do the full benchmark. And what we'll do is we'll let it do its test and we'll come back to it in just a moment or two. So stay tuned for more. Right everyone, so welcome back. So let's see what the uh, dual core can pull in. Let's see, will it get a higher benchmarking test or will it be lower? And look at that. 5,198. So if you've not seen my HTC 1X benchmarking video, this actually beats that in terms of the overall score. And it completely destroys all the other competition as well. And remember, this is running a dual core, so it's not running a quad core processor. Um, they've obviously both got their own advantages and disadvantages. One's got a stronger CPU, one's got more, but there's more equal better. Obviously, we'll, so we'll come to see that in a future video. You obviously, see the actual scores at the bottom there. Now, if you've seen my the actual 1X um, comparison with the actual 1X benchmark, you'll see the CPU is actually, you know, it gets a higher, a higher number. So, it's actually other things that are, you know, giving it a, be <laughs> giving it a better actual score. So again, I'll cover off that in a future video. I'm going to be doing a head-to-head -head with this and the 1X. So anyway, that's the 1S in terms of the quadrant scores. What we're going to do is we'll pull up Limpack. So Limpack, da da da. Here we go. Let's get rid of that. Once again, we'll zoom in close for you. Here we go. So what I'll do now is we'll do a quick uh, benchmarking on Limpack. We'll do turn it down. It looks a little bright on the screen right now, so let's turn that to a screen brightness down a tiny bit. Well, if this is going to come off a bit better for you guys. So here we go. We'll do the single thread first of all. And look at that. It gets 88.246 with a time of 0.95. Crazy. Do another one gone down quite a bit it's 84.086 with a time of one second single thread last time bumps up to 93.699 and once again we're under that one second threshold very very impressive do the multi, multi thread ones now and look at that that is pretty damn impressive <laughs> 166.997 just over a second 165.3 in just over a second. Last but not least, wow, look at that, 182.935 under a second. Now, if you've <laughs> if you've seen any other phones do this, you know, out, out of the box, then give me that phone because this is now officially the fastest phone I've benchmarked in terms of Limpack and Quadrant straight out of the box. It's one hell of a phone just for those two, you know, straight off the bat. But again, as I said previously, benchmarks don't mean everything. But while we're here, we will run the all-important third benchmark, which, as you probably know by now, is the Antutu benchmark. So once again, we'll do a benchmark on this one, so I'm just going to start the test. So stay tuned for more, and once again, I'll be right back. Right, people, so welcome back. So here we are, we now have the full benchmark on Antutu as well. And here we go, so let's see the total score. We get a total score of 7,023. The RAM is 1286, CPU energy 2261, float point 1073, 2D graphics 300, 3D graphics 1272, database IO 485, SD card write speed 18.4, Read speed 42.3, 
crazy. And the frequency is running just over 1.5 gigahertz. So there we go. Obviously you've seen all three benchmarks now. You've seen, obviously, hopefully you've already seen my 1X benchmark video as well. Now, obviously in terms of benchmarking, this destroys the competition in both Quadrant and in Limpack. Not so much in Antutu, so it really depends what kind of benchmark you know you do want to be going on. Um, if you're a Quadrant, you know, I think Quadrant means everything, then this is potentially the best phone. Out of the box performance, who knows? Again, benchmarks don't mean everything. They just give a good indication of where a phone potentially can have you know, it's got a lot of potential there. Um, and I must say, the overall speed of the 81S so far, from what I've seen, and what I've had, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, has been very, very impressive. But you tell me what you think. 1X, 1S, you decide. But again, I'll be doing a head-to-head -head comparison with these two in a later video, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, any questions, you know what to do by now. Once again, hit me up down below, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, yeah. Email me, viewers at samjepon.com. And hey, people, I'm going to go off. Thanks for watching. And once again, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, everyone.